Hey guys, it's Ken and Gina from OK Portugal and today we have something a little bit different. Gina's been given a new toy. Uh, normally it's Ken gets all the good gifts. Finally I've been some, sent something that I can play with. So it's a laser cutter engraver and it's making my creative juices just flow. And I'm so excited because it cuts metal, wood, perspex, acrylic, acrylic, leather, glass, jeans, fingers, fingers, no, don't, all don't, sorts. Yeah, don't cut your finger. <laughs> yeah. But I'm so looking forward to making loads of stuff with this. The Creality Falcon A1 is a laser engraver and cutter with a power of 10 watts. It arrives in a medium sized box and there's no assembly needed. The device is pretty compact and fits easily on our desktop. It features a fully enclosed design with two transparent windows that have a special laser safe tint, allowing you to watch the laser while it's working. And it also helps protect your eyes without the need for extra laser safety goggles. But Gina bought some laser safety goggles because it helps her look like a mad scientist. Before this, I'd never used a laser engraver before, but this one's super simple. It's just plug and play, take it out of the box, plug these few wires in, plug the USB into the laptop, download the software and then off you go. Now, although this is Gina's new toy, uh, a laser like this isn't really a toy. Uh, something like this is actually capable of cutting. Um, it's very powerful. Uh, if you were to have this door open and you were to look at that laser while it's cutting, you can actually damage your eyes. So Creality have got this shield. This is actually a special color. As you can see, it's got this orange tint on it. And if you look at Gina's laser safety goggles, it's got the <laughs> same thing. So this prevents any of that light radiation from coming out and basically harming your eyes. Um, but it also has a built-in safety. So as soon as you lift up the lid, it automatically cuts out the laser. And as soon as you open up the door, it immediately cuts out the laser. Um, this is just like a fail safe. Um, but then on the side, it also has um, a three a three stage safety. Yeah, so it's got a key, it's got an on off, obviously, and then an emergency switch. Yeah, so this is pretty packed full of safety features and something that you can use safely at your house uh, as long as you follow the instructions. It's even safe for me. <laughs> so I'm using the Creality software, the Falcon Design Space. And when you first open it, you can see there's an inspiration page. I found this the most easiest to use getting started because all you do is pick a design and then you can just make it straight from there. It's free to use, it's part of their software and it just meant it gave me some inspiration just to get going. So here's a project I've already been working on. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a clue. The purple and the teal are gonna be engraved by the machine and the black outline is gonna be cut out by the machine. So it's one piece of wood that's gonna go into the machine and all those actions are gonna be done. So as this machine cuts, it's obviously gonna cut through itself. As you can see on the bottom here, we've got some projects where it's actually cut through into the metal below. So you use this thing, which is like a honeycomb board and uh, that basically lets you cut without um, going right through the object and into the machine. So for this project, I'm gonna be using bass board. I keep wanting to call it base board, but it's not, it's basswood board. Basswood board, and it's yeah. three mil thick. Yeah, so, but what I have found is it's worth sticking it to the honeycomb thing, cause it's got a bit of a, a wobble on it sometimes, and it just means that you get a clearer engraving result. And now you just pop the wood into the machine and we're nearly ready to go. So one of the very cool things about this laser engraver is that it has a built-in camera in the lid. This is a high definition camera that obviously looks down on the whole project. And that's pretty cool because it helps you position your artwork exactly where it needs to go on your piece of wood. So Gina's gonna click on camera and, well, I kind of missed it there, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so now as we can see, we can see the piece of wood and we can see the design. And sometimes that's a bit complicated, so you can fade it in and out. Yeah. So you can see it clearer. And then you just need to make the artwork uh, fit onto the wood. So I'm going to select it all, otherwise everything will move independently, which you don't want. Or group it all. You yeah. Mean. And then move it. Okay. And then one final step before you press for it to go is you do a thing called frame. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna move the laser around the board so you can make sure that you've actually got it into frame. So now we're ready to go. Press start. So while this is cutting, it's obviously gonna be burning the material and that's gonna create smoke. And just off to the side, we can see we've got an air pump over here. 
This air pump's actually got little rubber feet so that it doesn't vibrate on the table, which is quite cool. It's very silent and that injects air into the unit and on the back of the unit we have a big extraction hose and that extraction hose the one that comes standard with the unit isn't particularly long um, they, they do have something called an air purifier that you can plug it into uh, but we don't have that unit so we've extended it with some pool hose and that goes all the way out the door here and outside on the farm so that works pretty well. You don't really get any smell of smoke or anything like that inside. Also, if you are burning things like acrylic and plastic, you don't want to have all of those plastic fumes in the house. So it's a really nice, neat way of keeping that out there. Another cool feature this has is something called a rotary kit. Now this is something that you can buy separately and plug in there. And what that does is it puts a device in here that allows you to rotate cylindrical objects underneath the laser. So you could put um, glasses, you could put bottles, uh, I would love to do some OK Portugal pint glasses, you know, I love my beer. Um, now obviously this is a certain height, but you can actually extend it. There are feet that you can add on that are really tall feet and then you take the bottom of the unit out and you can extend the entire height so you could do really large cylindrical objects or you can engrave much taller objects. The feet extension comes in the box with the machine when you get it, but just remember if you're going to take that off and put the feet extensions on that, then you need your glasses because it won't be an enclosed box anymore. It's amazing to see how fine it can print or engrave, should I say, on this wood. It's really fine, intricate line drawing there on these little flowers. And later on, when it's finished doing all of that, it's going to have to cut the outline. It's going to cut the outline of those shapes. And it's going to cut right through this board, which is a, a three millimeter wooden board. So there's loads of practical uses as well. And I made some seed markers the other day so that I could mark where I'd put my seeds so I can remember where they are and when I'd planted them. Now, while that's cutting, I wanted to show you some of the other cool things that we did. Look at this. This is a puzzle and it's a 25 piece puzzle that's made with a little uh, tiger print on it. I've only got one hand here because of the camera, so I can't put it together. But bizarrely, this actually took a lot longer to put together. Once you've taken it to pieces, it's actually a puzzle that took Gina and I quite a few minutes to put together, even though we knew what the design was. Um, so it's, it's quite cool. I think I might be putting together some stuff like this and sending it out to our Patreon members. Uh, I think that could be pretty cool. And we do some, uh, some cool stuff for Patreon. And then Gina's also done some other stuff. Have a look at these. So I'm not gonna show you these just yet. We've got other puzzles. He's made little mobile phone holders, one in Perspex or acrylic. Some other ones, this one didn't work out too well. This one was supposed to be, what was this, Gina? That was for a laptop, but I used the wrong size wood. It needed ah. to be five mils rather okay. than three mils. And then, uh, yeah, this was my absolute favorite. So this one's a little bit finicky because it was made with in the wrong size, right? It was made teeny tiny because I didn't want to waste wood in case it didn't work, okay. but like these little things here, which obviously an engineer designed, mean that it bends. Wow. That's just, and then you get a little, Yeah. But I just need to work out how to make it to close. Okay. And I need to make it bigger and then the joints will fit. But that's part of the fun is the learning curve exactly. of it. Like, and look at these cool things that you can make oh. with a laser engraver. I mean, who would have thought? Oh. I, I, I mean, I thought oh, they were yeah. like they were just good for making dog tags, but I mean, look at this. And we've done a couple of dog tags, but I didn't line it up very well. So yeah, but still I'm work in progress. Yeah. And it's the first time I've used it, and actually, it's not taken me very long to get better and better at doing it. So it's starting to take shape now. Uh, we're on the cutting phase. We've got a few more bits to cut out, and uh, look at that. We've got the OK Portugal that goes on it. <laughs> How cool is that? The best thing about waiting it for it to cut out is that I can go and make more tea. <laughs> mm. So we're getting to the end. Look, it's just about to finish. Here we go. That is awesome. And I'm just going to leave it closed for a little bit, get that smoke out. And uh, there we go. We can see there's a little bit of smoke. I don't know if you can hear, but in the background, we've got fire planes coming over. There's a big fire somewhere close by to us here. Look there, look at that plane. Wow. Look at this, we're going to get a really nice view of a fire plane coming straight over us here. This is one of these Fireboss uh, fire planes. It's basically a water bomber. And uh, it's filled up with water at the dam and it's going to fly across to that fire now, dump the water on the fire and then come back and reload. Unfortunately in summer, this is where we have fire season and everything is super dry at the moment 
and I don't know if you can make out there's just a little bit of smoke just over there and that's that's where they're fighting the fire right now so we got nice distance before it gets anywhere close to us are we done it's all finished we're gonna take it out and I'm gonna show you how cleanly it's cut amazing look, huh? it just well it doesn't just pop out because it's got grooves on it but look that's incredible so time now to put it together so i'm a south african i'm not really I'm not really on this whole tea vibe you know i'm a, I'm a half half africana half uh, english person you know so the english side of me has tea but i don't do the tea tea i just do the rooibos rooibos tea which is red bush tea from the Karoo in the Cedarburg. And we have real, mm. real red bush tea. Yeah, this is real rooibos as well, like from South Africa. <laughs> Me, PG tips. Can't get any better. PG tips <laughs> is a type of tea that Gina loves. <laughs> She's English. The English are crazy about tea. They fought wars over tea. They've overthrown countries because of tea. Probably, I don't know. <laughs> so here's Gina's little jigsaw puzzle. And I think you can probably guess what this is going to be now because you probably saw one of them on our desk earlier. <laughs> so there's a fire app that you get in Portugal called Fogos.pt and you can see where all the fires are. If you click on this one, this one's in Sobral do Campo. This is kind of where our farm is. 159 firefighters, 41 vehicles, 8 aeroplanes. That's crazy. Look at that. And we can see how it's accelerated. So it started at 10.54 in the morning. The time now is 12.21. So, yeah. Anyway, hopefully they'll put it out soon. So, you know, I didn't think I was going to be excited about this thing, you know, like I thought, okay, this is going to be a toy for Gina. She can do arts and crafts. But this is a very cool thing. I mean, I actually can't believe how cool it is. And it's quite quick as well. I mean, we've never had one of these before, but the speed that this thing ramps around is really impressive. And uh, obviously the power as well. If you don't have that honeycomb plate, look, it actually cuts holes through the metal board at the bottom. Gina, is it all coming together? Yeah, this is the most difficult bit of the whole thing is getting it because it's such a close fit. It's like wooden Lego. It's tougher than Lego. <laughs> <laughs> but if it didn't sit so firmly together, it would just fall apart and then you'd need glue. So I'd yeah. rather just take my time squidging it together. So finally, it takes a little bit of finessing to get it all together because it's such a tight fit. But here you can see We've got the nice flowers on the side, OK Portugal, and then a secret surprise inside, another logo. But you can keep all sorts of Nicky Nacky Noonars in there. Now I'm trying to record the segment and we keep having aeroplanes flying over. It's the, quiet now. Well, the aeroplanes are very important because we don't want the fire getting here. So if an aeroplane flies past, just excuse the aeroplane. It's doing a good job. Uh, but we want to say a big thank you to Creality for giving us the Falcon A1. Uh, I'm very impressed by it. If you want to buy one of these for yourself, have a look in the video description below. I'm going to put a link to Creality's website where you can buy one of these. Uh, if they send me any special offers or coupon codes or discount codes, I'm also going to put them down here. And uh, Yeah, and if you want to have a look at any of the stuff that I make or any of my other artwork, then you can have a look on my Instagram, which is third B on the left. Strange name, I know, but... And are you going to do... You're going to do some stuff perhaps for our Patreon page? Yes, I need to perfect it first and work out how to get it posted and things. So it might be a little while, but yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we might have a little surprise for our Patreon members. Yeah. Thanks, Creality. Thank you. <laughs>